During this video, we're going to look at filming with the D5000. To insert the battery, open the battery door on the bottom. The power button is on the top next to the mode dial. Select the mode you wish to film in. Auto modes have fewer options than the manual modes. In this instance, we're going to use manual mode. Unfortunately, the D5000 can only film a maximum resolution of 720p, so full HD isn't available. Filming at this resolution is also limited to files that are 2GB in size with a maximum length of 5 minutes. To adjust the resolution, go to Menu and use the D-pad to navigate to Shooting Menu, Movie Settings and Quality. Then select the resolution you wish to use. In order to film, press the Live View button and place your finger on the shutter button. The button has two steps. If you hold it down halfway, the camera will focus. Then all we have to do is press OK to start filming. A red circle will appear on the screen to indicate that you are filming. And then press OK again when you want to stop filming. Don't forget to add roll time to your clips. I tend to put 5 seconds before and after my shot. If you're not happy with the focus or want to use the focus creatively, on the side of the lens is a manual focus switch. Switch it to M and then turn the lens at the end like so. You can access more settings using the I button. This can be handy if your images don't look accurate. Some of the options relate to still photographs as you can take still images while filming, although it will stop your filming. Format is the top one, while image size is the second. One of the settings that affects video files is white balance. Look at the colours in your shot and check that they match what you are filming. If not, select the appropriate light source by using the D-pad like so. Pre is useful in situations where there is a mix of light sources. By showing the camera what is white using a white card, it will work out the other colours in your shot. The next one is film speed which doesn't affect the exposure of your video footage. Release doesn't either. Live View Autofocus is another setting that does affect your video files. There are four options. Face Priority automatically detects and focuses on faces, which is great for portraits. Wide Area is great for landscapes and allows us to move the focus point around to pick a specific area of focus. Normal Area is for pinpoint focus on a selected spot on the frame again allowing us to pick out a specific point of focus. Subject tracking is useful for tracking something moving through a frame, for instance someone jogging along a track. AF area mode has four options too. Single point uses a selected focus point only. Dynamic area allows the user to select the focus point. However, if the subject leaves the focus point, it will use information from surrounding focus points which is ideal for subjects that move erratically. Auto area allows the camera to automatically detect the subject and select the focus point, while 3D tracking works by the user selecting the focus point, while the camera will use 3D tracking to select a new focus point to keep the focus locked on the original subject, while the shutter button is pressed down halfway. However, once your subject has left the frame, you will need to redefine the focus by refocusing. Metering enables the camera to judge exposure and has three options. Matrix metering produces natural results in most situations, metering a wide area of the frame. Center weighted meters the entire frame but assigns the greatest weight to the center. Spot metering meters the current focus point and ensures the subject will be correctly exposed, even when the background is much brighter or darker. Active D-Lighting preserves details in highlights and shadows to create a more natural contrast. There are several options, Auto, Extra High, High, Normal, Low and Off. AE Bracketing is another setting that applies to photographs. Picture control affects the colours in your shot. Standard gives balanced results, useful in most situations. Neutral offers minimal processing for natural results, ideal for those that edit pictures on the computer. Vivid enhances pictures for a vivid effect, emphasizing primary colors. Monochrome allows us to capture black and white photos. 
Portrait processes colours for skin with a natural texture and rounded feel. Lastly, Landscape produces vibrant results for landscapes and cityscapes. Flash compensation adjusts the exposure of the flash for still photographs, while exposure compensation adjusts how bright the video footage is. Press OK and move down to reduce the brightness and up to increase the brightness. To view your video files, press the play button on the left hand side. Press OK to play the footage back. The plus and minus magnifying glass buttons used to zoom in on photos adjust the volume of the video clip. In order to transfer your video files onto the PC, connect the USB cable to the camera. This is located on the left side of the camera under the cover. Navigate to my computer, then click on Nikon D5100 and DCIM. Here you will find your video footage. Thanks for watching and feel free to like, share, follow and subscribe.